I have two questions to ask. What's holding you back? Mm. And are you letting fear dictate your outcome? <sighs> Oftentimes, people don't make that leap or take that leap of faith because there's something holding them back. Mm-hmm. And it's usually fear. Right. And then they let fear dictate the outcome of their future. And they say, oh, well, what if this happens? Or what if I don't make it? What if I get there and I hate it? Or what if I don't make any friends? What if you go and you love it? Right, exactly. What if you go and you have your dream job? What if you go and you meet some of your greatest friends that you have for the rest of your life? Right. You don't know until you take that leap of faith. It was a decision that we made back in 2016 and we're making again, as you said, and us taking that leap of faith was one of the best decisions of our lives because it really was. what we got from moving is far greater than I could have even imagined. Right. So sometimes you have to make that move and not be riddled by fear and have all of these what if scenarios go through your head. It's natural. But sometimes you just got to rely on God, rely on your faith, and you got to make that move. Man, well said. Mm-hmm. I don't even, I'm not sure exactly how to follow up with that. But I do know that when we talk about a leap of faith, mm-hmm. the reason why it's called a leap of faith is because you don't know exactly where you're going to land. Mm-hmm. There, there's there, When you take that leap, there is a feeling of, I'm not sure exactly what's going to happen from mm-hmm. here, where I'm going to land at. Mm-hmm. And because of that fear of the unknown, because of that fear of the unknown, you 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 start to have all these questions. They're like, I don't know if this is going to work mm-hmm. out, like mm-hmm. you said. But then you also have to think like, what if it does work out? Mm-hmm. And what if you can make it work? Yeah. And that's exactly why we decided to make that leap of faith. Because another thing ab- ab- about taking a leap of faith is, not being stuck in mediocrity, mm-hmm. not being stuck in a, a place of the same old, same old, of right. doing the same thing over and over again, or being in the same location or, or having the same job uh, and not really trying to achieve and want more. Mm-hmm. Because definitely in your early 20s, like we were early and mid 20s, it's it's a time to be ambitious. It's-, it's a time to be ambitious. And it's nothing wrong with wanting to go into a situation with being intentional. Because, of course, like everyone wants to go somewhere where the cards lay perfectly. You know what I mean? Right. But that's, that's in a that perfect takes world. Away, that, that's in a perfect world. And we don't live in a perfect world. Exactly. And no one is perfect. And so, again, like you said, taking the leap of faith, that's you making a decision to jump. And you're not necessarily sure how you're going to land. Right. But you're hopeful that you will land on your feet. Yeah. Um, and, and, and there's not to say that there won't be challenges because we face challenges when exactly. we move here. It's not going to be easy, but it's possible. Yeah. And I can say that I am someone, even when we started YouTube, I had a lot of fear. I let fear and doubt delay the process. Mm. And I kept saying, well, what if people just don't relate to us or understand us or what if people are just mean and have so many negative things to say on the internet even though what we're conveying what we're putting out is positive we're we're trying to spread love we're encouraging healthy relationships we want people to thrive all around but what if somebody just doesn't see that and and I was just thinking so negatively and thinking about all of the what if bad scenarios but and that was that was to the fear that you were and that was me playing into my fear my fear telling me that we couldn't do this yeah that we're not capable and that we're not capable of doing this and here we are and we've been doing our podcast for some time now we started in the pandemic and we're still just getting started i mean we still have we still have a small audience and you know there's ways that we want to continue to make this and turn this into a business and and be able to monetize this and and take it to that next level right. and gain a bigger right. audience. But the beautiful thing is that it started off with us having, you know, just a few followers. You have your family and your friends. It's like, all right, I'm going to show love. I got you, your few friends and family. To us now having an audience where it's uh, over a thousand. You yeah. know, it's over a thousand and we're growing. We're continuing to grow and to see 
where it will take us, yeah. which we have big dreams for this channel. Yeah. We have hopes for this channel. And we have consistent people that are checking in that are tuning into our yeah. tuning into our stuff. And so And we're having organic, fun conversations that you know, come natural to us. We're not doing anything crazy. We're not, we're not, you know, dancing and doing crazy meme type stuff. We're, we're doing things that really relate to us and that we right. really resonate with. And, and that's, mm-hmm. and that's what it's really about. It's about really honing in on the things that you're passionate about and the right. things that you can speak to the most effectively that can really inspire and motivate right. others. And we're doing that because, you know, the strong suit of what we do or in, it, that we can speak to is building sh- and strengthening relationships and marriages because we have been doing this since we are 20 years old and right. we, we've gone through the ups and the downs right. of our personal relationship. And now we can relay everything that we've said or that we've done over mm-hmm. these over, over a decade. Right. And we can share and lay out points of good and bad and, and right. what to do and what not to do. Right. And, just have the organic conversations about that. And mm-hmm. not only is it good for our audience members and people that we're talking to, but it's also good for us. It's healthy for yeah, us. Yeah, it's healthy for us. So, and so we say all of these things is that we knew that we wanted to help relationships thrive and grow. We wanted you to learn how to be better in your relationship, to be a better communicator, because we too wanted to learn how to do those things to improve our marriage. And so we took the leap of faith and we started a YouTube channel so that we can help others. But like you said, it's helping us as well. We took a leap of faith when we decided to move from Maryland to Miami and we were 25, 26 years old. We were very young. Um, Fortunately, you had a job lined up, but I didn't have anything lined up, but I knew like this is the person I want to spend the rest of my life with. And we're going to figure things out. We're going to make it work. We did not have a chance to look at our apartment before we moved here. Yeah. Um, we had a crazy situation. I don't know if you remember with the moving company and they basically like stiffed us. Yeah, right. Um, so we didn't have the best welcoming to yeah. welcome to Miami. And, but, and, that, and that's to mm-hmm. say that there is probably going to be hiccups when yes. you take the leap of faith of whatever it mm-hmm. is that you're wanting to take a leap of faith on. It's not always going to be an easy right. road. There mm-hmm. might be hiccups. There might be obstacles. But it's about overcoming those obstacles and figuring out how you can make that leap of faith work for you. And that's exactly mm-hmm. what we did in 2016 when we moved down here. Mm-hmm. We said, man, like we wanted to move from Maryland. We wanted to move from our home state and you know start something new. We, we wanted to be somewhere warm. So Miami was the perfect destination. We, we took that leap and... Eight years later, we sit here today and we're like, man, we can take that victory lap and say we really made it like we actually really did it. And we we did it well. I mean, like we came down here newly engaged in 2016. We came down here. We didn't have a dog. We didn't have a child. Now we have both of those things. Right. We we weren't married. Like I said, we were engaged. And now. She wears a wedding wedding ring on her hand and I wear a wedding ring on mine. Mm-hmm. I mean, like, there's so many beautiful things that have happened over these last eight years. And it's just it's just an incredible journey that I can look back on and that you can look back mm-hmm. on now and say, man, that leap of faith really did work. Right. So that's to say, man, go after your dreams. Go yes. after that leap of faith, because if you really put the time in and the effort in mm-hmm. and you do everything that you need to do to be able to be successful in whatever that leap of faith is Mm -hmm. you can make it work and now eight years later we get to say man that leap of faith was one of the best decisions of our lives it really was and now we're we've made a decision to take another leap of faith and move back to the dmv so that we can continue you know evolving in our marriage evolving in parenthood um and creating a life for our son that we feel will be more fulfilled for him and more Mm. fulfilled for us by going back to the DMV. Amen. And so again, like he said, we just wanted to create this video to encourage you to not be riddled with fear, to not let fear stop you from taking that leap of faith and going to do whatever it is that you really have a desire to do that you feel like God put in your heart to do, go ahead and do it. And again, there's going to be challenges. Um, but with challenges, that's when we become our 
you know, our best selves exactly. when we are able to learn from our mistakes and figure out how to improve and get exactly. better. And the only way to do that is sometimes when you make those mistakes. So we're not going to keep this video too long. This was just to tell you if you're feeling like, oh, I ahead, did sorry. have one other point, oh, but I'll oh. let you finish. No, no, no. I was going to close out, but we can keep, we can keep it going. No, yeah. I was just going to say, you know, as far as this upcoming leap of faith for us, you know, if you're watching this video, most likely you're probably in this stage of wanting to take a leap of faith mm -hmm. in whatever you're doing. And for us to be able to speak to that with more emotion is the leap of faith that we're about to take on right now. Mm -hmm. And that's the leap of faith of moving back to the DMV. Like for us right now, it's still a leap of faith. I mean, yes, we're moving back, back home and be around more family, but it's still a leap of faith because... There's so many things up in the air right now yeah. for us. Like we don't know exactly like careers, yeah, uh, like we home ownership, yeah, et cetera. Yeah, we're, we're we're working on a lot of things. There's a lot of moving parts mm -hmm. as far as uh, jobs, as far as uh, where we're gonna live in the DMV. You know, home ownership. I mean, mm -hmm. there's there's a lot of things that we are looking at right now that is gonna transpire in the next year while we make this transition back up. That we're still it's still on shaky ground it's kind of like okay what's what's really next yeah so we're taking that leap of faith and having full confidence that everything will work out the way it's supposed to exactly and that's what we did in 2016 and we're going to do that here again in 2024 it's going to be an incredible 2024 i'm proclaiming it now yes and um we hope that you take that leap of faith and you put in the work to make it work for you so with that said, my name is Shane. And I'm Jen. And as we always say, don't forget to find joy in the journey. Peace. Building a happy home. Yeah. Building a happy marriage. Building a happy family. All of those things take day in and day out work. Like yes. you said, it's about those routines. It's about those habits. And building those healthy habits provides you the responsibility for you to pour into your marriage, to pour into your relationship, and to pour into yourself. Exactly.